this is Sandra again. Thank you so much for joining me. This past year, I really have had a big dilemma. I downsized from a great big house to a smaller space. And in this smaller space, I really do not have a lot of storage space. So what do I do with all of my mementos? How do I pick and choose? How do I bring things with me into a smaller space that won't be cluttered but yet allows me to keep memories that are really important for me. So I'm going to show you just a, a few of the things that I have done that has allowed me to keep my lifestyle, the things that I love, by using creative space ideas, I have been able to kind of organize my life in a smaller space. And trust me, it wasn't easy. Come along with me and I'm going to kind of show you what I have done in my downsizing life. What to do with shoes. I went to Pier 1 and I found two wine racks that were on sale. I pushed them together and in this wine rack, both of them, I can store three, 13 pairs of shoes. I love door wreaths. I put a seasonal wreath on my door every time the season changes, but I don't have any place to store them. So what do I do? I hang them on the wall in the guest bedroom. That's what I do. That way I can switch and change out every time I want to put a new wreath on the door. What do I do with all of my old photographs, my memorabilia, my son's record uh, album platinum awards that he gave to me? Just what do I do with those? That's a big question. Well, along with the wreaths that I have, I have hung all of my family photos in the hallway as you go down the stairs. So as I walk down every morning and as I walk up during the day, I feel that my family is with me. Small things like the old lamp that I had outside on the deck or an antique easel that I had by the fireplace in my other house with a painting. It's now in the powder room. It found a new home with a large shell mirror on it, which expands the powder room and makes it seem a lot larger. Quite a few paintings myself. I hung a large painting that I had in my other house that I did at the end of the at the end of the staircase because it has a nice light shining down on it. And I have a mirror which reflects that painting on the other side and I actually had that mirror facing the door and a friend of mine said that was bad feng shui because I was putting all my luck out the door so so I changed it and I put it on the wall adjoining that this is a candy copper kettle that my grandmother and great grandmother used to use and this is a painting that my mother did that I just love and I used to have it hanging in my kitchen and it's now in my dining room old bottles, old signs, just a few things that I really wanted to keep. And of course, my love for old coral that's washed up on the sea. I have a license plate clock that really was too big for my kitchen here that it was in my kitchen, and I um, have it here. I store books one on top of the other, and this is an etching that means something to me. But I stack books one on top of the other, and I even have an old brass doorknob standing, sitting on top of the books. My niece did this for me, and I wanted to keep it. It means something for me. She knows I love, my husband and I love Haitian paintings that we've collected quite a few. I did this one time in frustration. It's called Hurricane with the Pelican, and also another frustration painting that I did and and of course uh, the colorful Haitian art that that we have I love things from the sea an old Chinese uh, cabinet but I put a lot of things on the floor because I don't have enough wall space so I I 
take things on the floor. This is, uh, of course, a mirror that's quite old that belonged to my mother and father and my grandmother, and I put it on the floor. And the th only things that I really can hang on the wall are, are some of my paintings. But I do an awful lot of floor <laughs> paintings, putting mirrors and paintings and objects on the floor and kind of try to arrange them so that they have an artistic feel to them. And of course, this is my great-grandma's copper candy kettle and shells that I've collected from the beaches I always love. 